Good morning. And one of the greatest teachings of all time, of all time for me, is the Tao Te Ching. And I was introduced to the Tao Te Ching probably 20, 25 years ago by the late Dr. Wayne Dyer. And the very, very first verse, the very first verse is something I want to read to you. It's short, but I want you just to hear the words. The Tao Te Ching, first verse. The Tao that can be told is not the eternal Tao. The name that can be named is not the eternal name. The Tao is both named and nameless. As nameless, it is the origin of all things. As named, it is the mother of 10,000 things. Ever desireless, one can see the mystery. Ever desiring, one sees only the manifestation. And the mystery itself is the doorway to all understanding. Now, I, I have the book by the late Dr. Wayne Dyer called Living the Wisdom of the Tao. And some say D-A-O or T-A-O. It's the name, the universal name given for God, or the creator of all. And I remember the impact that this first verse had on me just in the first two sentences just in the first two sentences the Tao that can be told is not the eternal Tao in other words in other words if you are trying to explain or you are trying to understand and and know God as God the Tao is you can't you can't. The eternal Tao is nameless. It's beyond human comprehension. You can definitely understand characteristics and attributes, and you can definitely learn about those through A Course in Miracles or Living the Wisdom of the Tao. You can definitely understand them there. But the moment you name it, it is the mother of 10,000 things. It says, you, you have shrunk the image of who God really is, the Tao really is. And that to me is just mind-blowing, mind-blowing. It's like that was the first taste that I ever had, probably 20, 25 years ago, and I've been on a spiritual quest for understanding what is beyond just this manifestation we see of human form and the material world of form. And this was probably the first glimpse I ever had of eternity. That I just could not understand it. And I also refused at one point to name God. But then how do you explain to someone what you're talking about? How? How is it possible that you can tell someone what you're talking about? So the two teachings that I, I really rest heavily on and submerse myself in, the one is, of course, in Miracles, and the other is the Tao Te Ching, they are intertwined so amazingly, so amazingly. And I was listening to the Wholeness Experience first class that I've signed up for in January to do with Lisa Natoli. And when the class was live, Monday night, my time, 10 p.m., we had power outage in South Africa. And so I had to watch the replay, which I did yesterday. And it was very, very interesting to listen to and to listen to people's different ideas of their interpretation of a course in miracles with non-duality. And it was very interesting to see different development stages within people as to their understanding of what this is all about. And the one thing Lisa said, I, I can't remember exactly the reference to what question was asked um, to her, but I just remembered her saying, but can you just sit and be in and basically not have any thought or anything? Just there was something that she had said that made me realize just sit and and just be and you you're genderless, you're ageless, you're eternal, you're all these things, you're all these eternal things, and just sit and be with that. And I know I'll watch the replay again because I think I missed a, a lot of what you were saying 
in that context. But what it did remind me of, how often do we label things? And by the mere fact of labeling someone or something, we limit them. Oh, so-and-so is stupid. You've limited their intelligence already. You have. You've limited their intelligence already. In your mind, you have thrown out and projected onto that person. And so when I look at this, when I look at this, the Tao that can be told is not the eternal Tao. The name that can be named is not the eternal name. Nameless, formless, shapeless, genderless, ageless. The Da is both named we, and nameless. God is God, the name we've given God, and yet God is nameless. As nameless, it is the origin of all things. What you cannot say verbally, that is your creator. That is the source, the origin of all things. As named, it is the mother of 10,000 things. You've just shrunk it down. Ever desireless, one can see the mystery. Ever desiring, one sees only the manifestations. I was thinking about that. And ever de desireless, ever desireless, one can see the mystery. And then it goes on to say, and the mystery itself is the doorway to all understanding, to knowing, to knowing. And I was thinking about what Lisa had said and tying it together with this. And ever desireless, if you just sit there, wherever, you create this nice space and you just sit there, wanting for nothing, just being. Just allowing the images that you have created in your mind of the Tao, of people, of the world, of things just to slip off you just not be this body not be in this space not be in this time because you're not you're actually not really here but that's a whole different discussion for another day but if you can just be desiring for nothing just be ever desireless not desiring i want this i want that because in desiring, and there's nothing wrong, there's nothing wrong with desiring things, but ever desiring, one sees only the manifestations. So if you can continuously desire, 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 you see the manifestations. You see the external things. You see these things. But ever desireless. And that's where the doorway opens to the mystery and all understanding. And so I, I challenge you to, when you think of the Tao or God or your divine deity, when you think of a name that you want to ascribe to that name, when you think of the name you want to describe to that name of God, Allah, Buddha, Jesus, awareness, consciousness, intelligence, energy doesn't matter it doesn't matter what name you give it the moment you label something that's it you have made it the mother of ten thousand things instead of unlimited so i challenge you i challenge you don't name it give yourself a day just don't name it just be and sit with the knowing that this nameless this nameless deity, divinity, this nameless source of all creation, that's where you will find the truth of who this deity is. So I love you. I bless you. I hope I've given you food for thought. It really inspired me. And have an awesome day. I will see you again for our next morning focus. Take care.